You know, in movies and TV shows, when somebody is possessed by a demon, all of a sudden they have two voices. Their normal voice, which sounds a little reverby, and then their deep growling demon voice, right? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that in DaVinci Resolve. And just in case you don't know what that sounds like, here you go. Beware of the Nightmare Queen. Creepy, right? Hey, I'm Jay. I'm a mixing and mastering engineer. And on this channel, I teach the audio side of DaVinci Resolve. And today we are doing the demon possession voice effect, which is a lot of fun. And we're going back to my little makeshift movie trailer that I've been working on for the last few weeks. This is kind of my go-to project right now for these tutorials. But here is what the voice sounds like before we do any work to it. Beware the Nightmare Queen. There you go. It's pretty simple. It's the same thing that we've been working with. That voiceover, by the way, is from Artlist, who is my partner on today's video, but we'll talk about them in just a little bit. Now, this effect, if we're going to do it right, requires a bit of setup. The first thing we need to do is actually create a couple effects buses that we're gonna send our audio to so let's come up to Fairlight and we'll click on bus format from there we will add two buses the first bus is going to be our demon voice and we'll change that to a mono track and just so we can match the color of our dialogue track we'll change the color to yellow bus 3 is going to be our DX verb that stands for dialogue reverb and we're going to keep that a stereo and again we will change this to yellow to match our dialogue track next we'll go ahead and click OK in bus format and we're going to come into our mixer where we should see our two new buses along with our main bus and all of our audio tracks. Next, we're going to come down to bus outputs in our bus two and bus three, our demon voice and our DX verb. We're going to come down to bus outputs. We're going to click plus. We're going to send the output to bus one and we'll do the same thing with our DX verb bus. After that, we're going to create a couple bus sends. So we'll come over to audio one, come down to bus sends, click plus and we're gonna send, do a send to demon voice. We're gonna hit plus again, and we're going to do a send to DX verb. Now, quick pro tip, when we add these two sends, we're essentially tripling up on our audio on our original track. So it's going to be louder. In order to correct that, or at least get a little bit closer to correct, what we're gonna do is open up the settings for our bus sends, and then in the send level, for both of these, we're going to change it to the same level that our dialogue track is, which is minus 5.9 dB. So in bus sends, come down to send level. We'll change that minus 5.9 minus 5.9. And we can go ahead and X out of bus sends. And now we're set up to do the effect. And this effect is only going to require three plugins, and they are all in DaVinci Resolve. And as far as I know, they are all available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve, which means if you're working in the free version, you can do this too. The first thing that we're going to add is a pitch effect. So we'll come over into our effects library under Fairlight Effects. We'll grab pitch, and we'll go ahead and drop that on our demon voice bus. And you can play around with this as much as you want, but I'm gonna go ahead and just drop my semitones all the way down, crank my sense all the way up. I've played around with this before and these are the settings that I like the best. So we're gonna loop this and I'll just play the before and after. Where the nightmare queen, where the nightmare queen, where the nightmare queen. Where the nightmare queen. So that is looking good. I'm going to back my in point back just a little bit so we can actually beware the nightmare queen. There we go. Perfect. So we've got our demon voice set up or our pitch set up. Next thing we're going to do is add a distortion effect. So let's come back into our effects library. We're going to go all the way up and find distortion. And we're going to drop that on bus two as well. And again, you can play around with these knobs as much as you want. I'm not going to do a deep dive into this. Actually, all I'm going to do is hit this drop down box and click on crunchy X out of there and see what we got. The queen. Beware the nightmare queen. 
We're sounding pretty good. I'm liking this so far. Last step is the reverb. So let's go ahead into our effects library. Let's scroll down and we're going to find our reverb plugin. Go ahead and drag that all the way over to bus three, which is our DX verb. And again, you can play with this as much as you want. You can tweak the size of the room for the reverb. You can change your early reflection tones, your reverb tones. If you want me to do a deep dive into this reverb effect, let me know. Otherwise, all I'm going to do here is hit this drop down box for the presets and go to Cathedral. X out of there. And let's go ahead and play. So that's a little bit too much reverb, I think. So what I'm going to do is just back off on the dry wet here. Okay, that's sounding a little bit better. We'll X out of there. And we also want to throw an EQ on our reverb because adding reverb to a bus send, it can create some muddiness and we don't really want that. It can just, it jumbles up the frequencies. Jumbles up is not the right terminology, but it just doesn't give us what we want. So let's go ahead and click on our EQ. And all we're going to do is add a low pass filter and a high pass filter. And we're just going to crank up our low pass a little bit. We can turn the rest of these bands off, bring down our high pass. Let's play that and we'll tweak it. Okay, that sounds good. The last thing I want to do to finish creating the effect, and no, we're not done after we're done creating the effect, because while we created the effect, we also created a problem. We're going to talk about that in a second. But here we go. We're going to open up our bus sends again, and we're just going to play around with our send levels until we have a good balance between the original voice and the reverb and the demon voice. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now, we created a problem. Now, the, the effect sounds good. Don't get me wrong. The effect sounds really, really good, but we created a problem. See, I only want this demon effect on this last clip, but if we zoom out on the timeline, you'll see we've got one, two, three, four dialogue clips. And if we come back and we go to the very beginning of this timeline and we play... Once upon a time, the world fell apart. We don't want that. We want these first three clips to be the normal voice. I'm going to talk about how to fix that in just a second. But first, remember how I said I was going to talk about Artlist a little bit later? Well, later is now. Now, you've heard me talk about Artlist before. You know they're a one-stop shop for all your video editing needs. You know that they've been adding a whole bunch of AI-powered features like the AI voiceover tool, which is what I just used to make this movie trailer, but they haven't stopped. They've kept going. They're still adding more AI features and their latest is AI powered text to image and image to video. It's super, super cool and really easy to use. You generate your prompt and they've got a feature that can help you enhance your prompt so you can get a better result from your text and you Put in your prompt, you click generate, and it'll generate an image for you. You can upscale that image, download it, whatever you want, or you can turn that image that you just created with your prompt into a video clip. And the video clips are super high quality because the algorithm that 
Artlist is using for this generative j- 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 I can't say that word. The algorithm that you're, they're using is specifically for filmmakers. It's optimized for filmmaking, which means you're getting super high quality videos in a whole bunch of different styles that you can choose from. And again, once you're done creating your video, you can download it, add it to artboards. It's really, really handy. And anything that you create with text to image or image to video is covered by Artlist's unlimited license, which is super, super cool. So that means between the stuff that you can create with AI, plus their high quality stock footage, plus their sound effects, plus their music, plus their plugins and effects and everything else that they have to offer, you literally don't have to go anywhere else to complete your video editing project. So why would you? Click the link in the description of this video. If you do that, not only will you be getting access to all of that stuff, you'll also be getting two months free off of an annual subscription, which is super, super cool. Really, the only thing Artlist can't do is fix the problem that we just created for ourselves in DaVinci Resolve. So let's go ahead and do that. The best way to make it so that the effect we created is only on the clips that we want is to use automation which is really, really fun to play around with and really, really easy. The first thing you want to do is make sure automation is turned on in DaVinci Resolve. This little keyframe symbol with the switch, you want to make sure that is red. Then you want to make sure that your automation settings are turned on, which is this keyframe symbol with the gear underneath. That gear, I swear, looks like a flower. I've said it before, I will never let this go. I will die on this hill. That looks like a flower. You wanna make sure that sends is turned on because what we're automating are our bus sends. You also wanna make sure that on stop is on hold. That means when you stop, the automation will stay at the level that you want instead of reverting back to its original state. From there, we're gonna come down to our dialogue track. That's audio one DX. We're gonna expand that a little bit. We're going to hit this drop down box that says none. We're gonna to go to sends, choose demon voice on off. And then we're gonna come over to this little keyframe symbol next to the drop down box and click on that. And when you do that, your automation line should be red. We're going to make sure we are at the beginning of our timeline. We are going to open up our settings for the bus sends and we're going to make sure they're turned off. And we're going to go ahead and play our video. And once we get closer to this last clip, we will go ahead and turn our bus sends on. Once upon a time, the world fell apart. Nobody really knows how it happened or how to fix it. There's only one rule. Okay, and that's it. And now, if we play this back, we won't have the effect on our first three clips, but it will play on our third clip. Now, one thing that I did notice when you automate the bus sends, even if it's just the mute, for some reason it locks in the send level. Once you got that automation locked in for the mute, it also locks in the send level. I don't know why, maybe it's a bug, but it's weird. So it's very, very important that you make sure your send levels are correct and they're where you want them to be before you do your automation. And speaking of automation, 